Good afternoon to everybody. Good afternoon. We are doing a, a notice in person and telephonic telephonic regular board meeting on June 23rd, 2022. Beginning for the 2022-2023 school year, board meetings will return to in-person meetings. The district has decided in the interest of transparency to record its board meetings and post the recordings on the district's website at www greenfield.k12.ca.us and YouTube channel https dot slash slash youtube dot com slash c slash greenfield usd for a period of 30 days as per board bylaw 9324 minutes and recording recordings Members of the public who are unable to attend the meetings can have access to the information that was presented and actions made at those meetings via the recordings. We invite all interested members of the public to come to our meetings that will be held in person to observe and participate. Working together with the local governing board, our staff and the public will make our district better together and assist us in better serving our Greenfield community. It is hereby given that in-person and tel telephonic regular meetings of the Board of Trustees of the Greenfield Union School District will be held on Thursday, June 23rd, 2022 at 6 o'clock. And now I'm going to call the meeting to order at 6.32. And now I'm going to call for roll call to establish quorum so i will start with our friends on uh, in zoom with uh trustee khan i'm here with trustee heredia um president are you talking uh, it's very slow um president um i may can, can you hear me now yes no, okay sure. Thank I'll, you. Get, I'll make sure to get closer to the um mic so, uh, trustee heredia yes I'm present, I said. Thank you. Clerk Madrid? Aye. And President Jaime? Present. Reminder to please turn off your cell phones. And now we will um, stand to do the flag salute. Ready? Salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now I need a motion for the adoption of the agenda. I make a motion to adopt the agenda. I make a motion to adopt the agenda. <laughs> I'll second that. Okay, so motion by uh, Trustee Khan, second by Clerk, Clerk Madrid, and now I will do roll call. Trustee Khan? Aye. Trustee Heredia? Aye. Clerk Madrid? Aye. President Jaime? Aye. Motion carried. And now um, I will be asking for public comments. There was none um, via email. I do see here one from uh, Mr. Garcia. Good evening. My name is Matt Garcia, and I'm an Ethnic Studies and History teacher at Vista Verde Middle School. I heard comments at our last board meeting, and I found the numerous references to our school's gay club to be condescending. I'm not certain how a person who has never spoken to me can say that I have boasted. I do, however, take great pride in being the advisor of our school's GSA, and the fact that Vista was one of the first middle schools in the county to create a GSA club, a club that is open to all students on campus. Our GSA has been hosting lunchtime meetings for about five years, and several students have described it as a place where they can be comfortable and not be judged. Purpose of our club is to build a more accepting environment for all people, regardless of orientation or identity, and to give space to LGBTQ youth and their allies in a positive place where they can fully express their individuality. In addition, it is our intent to increase awareness and decrease prejudices and create a safe school atmosphere for all. These words were written by 7th and 8th graders 
from our school in 2019. We have the same mission statement today, and students read and reflect on this mission statement at nearly every meeting. If more people followed their lead, the world would most certainly be a safer and more peaceful place. This year during GSA meetings, students planned, created, and presented two different proposals to our administrative team. In the most recent proposal, students asked to purchase a new, diverse set of novels. We look forward to being able to offer some of these titles when the school year begins, and we'll continue to work to add our library's collection, add to our library's collection, and this action certainly has positive impact on all students. June is Pride Month, yet across the country, LGBTQ people are under constant attack. Just yesterday, an article in the USA Today said that seven out of 10 LGBTQ Americans report discrimination has increased. Across the country, books are being banned, safe space signs are being forcibly removed from classrooms. Attacks on the LGBTQ community anywhere have an impact on LGBTQ youth everywhere. This makes our GSA club that much more important. The organization GLSEN found that LGBTQ students in middle school had more hostile experiences than LGBTQ students in high schools. According to GLSEN's 2019 school climate survey, 95.2% of LGBTQ students heard homophobic comments in school. This number drops in schools that have a GSA club. Three out of five LGBTQ students felt unsafe in their schools because of their orientation. This number drops in schools that have a GSA club. I take great pride in working at a school and in a district that has strived to live up to its all means all motto. More than one dozen VISTA teachers had a safe space sign on display in their classrooms and agreed to our safe space commitments. In a school with supportive staff like ours, LGBTQ students feel safer, have fewer absences, report higher GPAs. Thank you for listening. Thank, Thank you. you. Good evening, everybody. And happy Thursday. <laughs> anyway, I'm happy to hear that we can now comment on the live stream. Thank you, guys. Um, I would also go ahead and thank Ms. Amaya. I received your email responding to my question regarding the AB 361. Um, I do realize that there was a resolution adopted, you know, AB 361 on your um, 9, on June 9th board meeting. Although I do have the Brionac, you know, handbook, and I would like to go ahead and read here. Teleconferences means a meeting in different locations connected by electronic means, though either audio or video or both. During the teleconference, at least quorum of the members of the legislative body must participate from locations within the boundaries of the local agency, and each location must be accessible to the public. I would also like to go ahead and add to this, $10 million expenditures on LCAP money are awful lot of money. You know, I am disappointed that my granddaughter did not promote this, this uh, promotion year. Makes me wonder how many did not promote. Were teachers, tutors hired to support students, especially the eighth graders, which those are the ones that we need to go ahead and you know, be close to. Doesn't doesn't seem like it. Not only not only my granddaughter failed, but others as well. What resources did you bring to meet the students? The goals, language arts, writing, science, math. How do you engage with parents to provide academic service at your cafecito? I would like to see the survey data asking parents for the most popular topics they are interested in learning. I hear cafecito, you know, um, it's by Zoom. How do you keep a list on that? I also hear a lot of repeats, ADD, Salina Valley Memorial Hospital, and Food Bank. Don't get me wrong, that's nothing wrong with that. But my thing is, you know, we need to engage in other stuff that really is gonna help the students. Um, how many requested, you know, for the food bank, for the EDD, for Selena Valley Memorial? Is there a list? 
I would like to see the parent survey. Thank you so much. I know I wasn't going to speak, but Ms. Diaz is over here motivating me now, right? She took the mic. Um, good evening, everyone. Madam President, Mr. Madrid, uh, Mr. Kong, and Ms. Heredia connected via Zoom, and I believe our superintendent, right? I don't even thought I don't see her on screen. Um, uh, first of all, David and Sonia, congratulations for going to Naleo. Amazing conference. I saw the pictures, and I know that you guys are going to be uh, in the same room with the VP, uh, President Harris, Vice President Harris. So congratulations. Hopefully you guys could talk to her and talk about Greenfield, the wonderful things that are happening in our community, both city and district. So hopefully that I know that you guys will go and, and take a picture and at least like, have her acknowledge our community, right? Um, I really think the whole reason why I really wanted to come up here and speak, I know that there's a lot of issues happening in our community. I know election cycle is coming. We do get a lot of emotions, but once we're able to be adults, civilized, sit down at the table and have conversations, we're not always gonna agree and we're gonna be the best of friends. But as long as we're having these conversations, I do acknowledge and I thank um, Madame President Jaime for pulling me and Ms. Diaz aside a couple of weeks ago and just being able to talk about whatever the situation was, it's really helpful. It really does. We're not always going to be in the same page. Uh, you see things your way. I see things my way. But we do compromise. Like, okay, how can we work together? How can we make things succeed, succeed for our community? And so with that hearing, Mr. Garcia, right? Um, I want to thank you, first of all, for I know your group, uh, that you're working with the LGBTQ plus community. I know it's not easy, and I just brought a resolution forward to the city, and I hope that I could bring it to you and the students. It's hard as it is in our community of color, Greenfield, our community of Latino population, to understand and to be able to discuss just the fact of, you know, coming out of the closet, having allies. We don't talk about it. And so I know that I, that's when we get a lot of frustration maybe from community members, maybe from parents. Um, so hopefully in the future you could bring a presentation just to let them know what times you're doing the, the meeting with the youth, how many youth are participating, even though I know you can't show pictures or anything like that, but at least bring that so the parents understand. I'm not taking up their um, academic time. They're doing it voluntarily. Um, and for me, Vista Verde was a big eye-opener. I always consider myself an ally, but we it's a learning process. It's a learning process just to be able to, you know, identify the students and make sure that as soon as you walk into a room, these students understand that you're an ally and that you're not going to shut them down. And what I mentioned during my council comment because of the LGBTQ plus resolution that I brought forward was the fact that when you walk into a room, especially as teachers, parents, whatever it is, we walk in and we say, hey, boys and girls, because that's what we were taught, right, growing up, that really shuts down the folks in the room that don't consider themselves both female or male or, you know, they, they identify as another gender. And so it's just a learning process. So thank you. Uh, my name is Irene Garcia. Uh, thank you, Mr. Garcia, for making your presentation. Um, the only reason I brought it up on the last school meeting was because I was receiving a lot of calls from teachers from Vista Verde. And a lot of teachers were saying um, there was that the club was sending students to their academic classes trying to pull students out to join their meeting at their time. So I thought that was really wrong because they're taking out students during their academic time. And so, yes, Mr. Garcia, I would like to set up an appointment with you so we can talk further. Um, and also, um, I know that there's a lot of issues and they need to be addressed. But my main concern right now, <clears throat> excuse me, is um, yesterday I came over to the district office to take a picture of your regular board meeting. Uh, it was not posted outside. So it needs to be posted 48 hours in advance so that the community knows what's going on. So I called uh, Dr. Gus from the MCOE and I asked her why it wasn't posted. Was it, there a change that perhaps I didn't know about, or the public? So um, that was a current concerning thing for me. So to me, this meeting should not have taken place because it's not given the 48 hours that should be allotted to the people. Um, second of all, uh, I had tried to download your app 
your uh, regular board meeting app. It was very difficult for me, so again, Miss Gus, or Dr. Gus, excuse me, um, had to call and find out how to download it. So I was able to uh, see the board meeting for today. So um, I'm just asking that perhaps there's an easier way to download it so that you know other community members will have uh, a better say on it. And also um, on the LCAP uh, that you're going to be talking about, but again, I couldn't download that information. Um, I, it was given to me through MCOE, but again, I don't know when the first one happened when you were talking about the budget. So um, that's a lot of paperwork to read in not in even two weeks' time. So um, I'm not understanding a lot of it. I have a lot of questions, and so I'm proposing that maybe you should hold off on that until. Um, you know, more people know about this. And do we have GTA report? No? Uh, CSEA report? Um, do we have board member report? Maybe we might start with um, our fellow board members who are enjoying this conference that we wish we could be there. <laughs> so I'll start maybe with Trustee Khan. Do you have anything to report? conference here, uh, as the, uh, some people have already noted, that uh, we had uh, uh, Secretary of Education, uh, Mr. Cardona, he spoke to our our, uh, our group, you know, our, our uh, members, and talking about uh, education, the future of education, and, uh, uh, especially with, um, in regards to uh, Latino students, you know, when, uh, it's very, uh, very enlightening. Uh, he uh, called for all of us. He actually applauded all the board members that, that were in the audience, and th thanking us for the, the hard work that we're doing to, uh, you know, to help, uh, uh, you know, for uh, help uh, academic achievement of our students. So it's not, it's not an uh, easy job. It's not a lot of times. It's, a, it's not, you know, people aren't thanked for it, but we're doing it. He says we're doing important work. So uh, you know, you know, we are. We are education in the future of our country, so uh, so uh, he asked us to stand up. Some of us that were board members, I thought that was pretty neat. So he was thanking us for our work. So uh, also, I attended a, um, a workshop to do with broadband, or uh, I think it was called um, kind of uh, um, get, having our students uh, learn, or like a, it, was, it was something like a workforce thing where they were talking about. Uh, education our, our students to be more, you know, technical, adaptive, or that kind of thing, and it kind of turned into something about broadband, and then uh, uh, some members, well, I didn't have to bring it up, some members uh, that were in rural areas, they, they were having difficulties with broadband, and so what does the Congress Secretary ever going to do about it, so uh, uh, it was a very interesting conversation, uh, and they said they, they, they want to continue this dialogue for those people that or interested in uh, that, and I said I'd, I'd be happy to uh, continue our uh, 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 conversation uh, under secretary. And uh, here, here's my uh, business card, and you know, please contact me if you have any you know um, questions or things about rural uh, school districts and our difficult things. So uh, he's looking for examples to take back to when I mean, they're asking for uh, budget appropriations. I think. He's looking for stories. He's looking for stories of school districts and and uh, to help his case. But he's he's behind us. So, so but sometimes there are people in Congress or the public that don't understand our our, our uh, the problems we have or are a little bit separate from uh, different from what they have in the big cities. So I'll leave it at that. There's, there's probably a couple more things, but I'll I'll let uh, uh, Trustee Heredia share her day. Thank you, Mr. Khan. Trustee Aredia, do you have anything to report? Good, um, good um, evening, everyone. Sorry, the comments. I, it's the volume is very low. I know probably the microphone didn't have to close the mic, the mic. So hopefully you guys are able to hear me. Um, I'm yes, sorry to interrupt you, um, Trustee <laughs> Khan. Share, but I would like to say I participated in some Trustee Aredia, we um, workshops. That Trustee was Aredia, Latinas, uh, leaders. Um, Trustee there was a really good um, combination of uh, Latinas and power was the supervisor from 
San Diego County. It was one from um, the mayor from Dallas, a mayor for um, um, Missouri, and um, one from um, San Diego from Cerrito. So it was really good to hear their um, stories and sharing the information with us. And also, um, Another one was that it catch my attention. It was like um, up to skills on Latinos in the digital data and, and technology because they mentioned that during this pandemic, a lot of the students, uh, a lot of Latinos that were very behind because they were, didn't have any access to technology like um, others on um, my students and, stuff, and to be able to help them and to be as, um, online and be able to master and have all the tools to be able to uh, perform and be have a successful um, life and career. And then, thank you, so yeah, it's very interesting participating, we're looking forward to tomorrow, so um, another day, so. Trustee Heredia. Thank you. Yes. Just, I, I wasn't trying to interrupt you, I just wanted you to know that we can hear you good. So you you sound great over here, okay. so we can hear you. I just, just please keep um, letting me know if you can hear us. Okay, so like that, maybe I have to also get closer to the mic. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes, because I didn't hear um, um the the comments from Mr. Garcia and from uh, Ms. Diaz, so I think it's the audio or something with my. But thank you. So I'll let you know. Thank you, um, uh, President Jaime. Okay. Thank you. Um, any comments from Clerk Madrid? I have none today. Um, I just like to um really welcome all the kids who um, started summer school last week, um, including my two. Uh, I wanted to um, thank the staff for um, putting summer school together. Seems like the kids are really um, enjoying themselves and um, I hear that there's a lot of science going on, so um, thank you for that. And um, yeah, I hope that the kids continue to um, really enjoy and take advantage of the activities and opportunities that they will be having in summer school. And that's all I have to report. Uh, and now we have superintendent. Are you? Yes, thank you, Madam President. I'm sorry, superintendent, real quick. I just want to announce, and thank you for reminding me because that's, that's correct. We will be also, um, well, the city and, and just the community will be celebrating Ciclovia here finally on the, <laughs> the 26th. Yes. On the 26th, I have been seeing the signs around town. So hopefully we get some bikers out and um, everybody just enjoys their time because it probably will be a very nice day. Hopefully not too, too hot. Like, like what was it, two six? Oh yeah, so it's going to be really hot. Um, and Superintendent, before you share your um, report, I'd like to ask um, staff analysis in regards to the posting of the agenda outside of our um, office. Can you please elaborate a little bit on that? Yes, absolutely, Madam President. Thank you for that. Um, so yes, we do routine postings in the same locations at every uh, board meeting. We've been doing that um, as far as I know, as I'm entering my sixth year with you. And so um, I can have Claudette give us a summary, but I know for a fact that it's every time we have our board meetings, we post them on our website, um, as well as at our school sites and the district office. I know there was a question about a door. Uh, we've never posted items on the door. We have a specific location, um, which is a glass case. Uh, that those are posted on and so we consulted with uh, legal counsel and we are in full compliance with the notification of those items in addition to that tonight's um, approval of our LCAP as well as the budget is for approval the public hearings uh, were conducted two weeks ago and those were in newspapers as well as the website and within all of those areas um, as well as the county office and so all those we take very seriously and want to make sure that we are in full compliance and um, we are confident that um, going into um, my fifth ending my fifth year we have done it the same way uh, for those last five years um, as far as the LCAP that's being approved tonight uh, the public hearing is was last meeting however um, under our guidance we have over 20 meetings with our community stakeholders uh, that come and derive the the actions and the goals that you see in front of you that are 
um, we're very proud of. Um, on the quarterly reports that we share with our board, um, our board is, is very um, adamant about making sure that we the actions and the goals are as close to students as possible and, and we're very confident and proud of our LCAP so much that in our county we are the only school district in all of Monterey County that presents our process of our LCAP, stakeholder engagement, our goals, and the pride that we have as a governance team in presenting that that is looked at by the entire state of California as a model. And so I do want to thank this school board, our governance team, for always wanting to present um, our process as well as um, the LCAP itself. It is a model and, and you do a fine job of, of posting that and making sure that they're over, I think this year we had over 4,500 uh, stakeholders engaged in giving input. And so again, just want to thank our team for, for that effort. Thank you. So you, Very made, you, you mentioned that it's not in the door. Can you please elaborate where is that case that's here? Is it in the district office? I know that I see them outside of the um, school sites. I know that we have a little like bulletin box type of thing in the sites. I've seen it there. Um, so here in the district, since we don't put it on the door, we have do we have a case the same? Okay. Exactly. You are absolutely correct. It's right over to, if you're looking at our district office door, it's over to the left um, at the central office. And then in addition to that, each of our school sites um, have one as well. Okay. Thank you for that, Superintendent. And now, absolutely. if you could please carry on absolutely. with your and then um, report. For, for my report, just very briefly, I want to um, let you know I am remote um, today. Probably one of my first ever in my five years that I've been remote for a meeting. But, you know, that kinds of things happen. We've we've all been working very hard. And so I'm, I'm in Southern California spending some time with my family um, this evening. And so I wanted to make sure that I'm, I let everyone know that. But not because I don't want to be there. Absolutely. Um, love everything that we're able to do together. And so um, for my brief report on, on the state of the things from the last two weeks, I just want to commend everyone on our team for a, an amazing launch of summer camp. Uh, students are engaging in numeracy, literacy, um, robotics, the arts. It was so amazing to see students painting, uh, directed drawing, and integrating the arts, as well as physical activity. And in addition to that, our phenomenal um, planning team and staff is also engaging in social emotional learning supports um, so to, to help mitigate some of the trauma that our students are coming out of with some stellar counselors this year. Um, and then I also just want to embrace um, what our colleague here, Mr. Garcia, mentioned at the beginning of our meeting. Um, I was able to hear his comments and you're absolutely correct. All means all means, no matter who you are, what you bring, we will embrace you. We will cultivate and nurture the gifts of every child that comes through our school district and honor them for who they are and who they want to be. And so I just want to put an exclamation mark on um, your comments that are also the sentiment of our administrative team as well as all of the wonderful people that we call our GUSD family. Um, and those are my comments for tonight. Thank you. Thank you. So now we will be moving on to um, local control accountability, pl accountability plan for the 2022-2023. I need a motion. I make a motion for the local control accountability plan 2022-2023. Can we get a second? I'll second that. And uh, now I'm going to do roll call vote. Trustee Khan. Aye. Trustee Heredia? Aye. Clerk Madrid? Aye. President Jaime? Aye. Motion carried. Now we're going to move on to the proposed uh, budget report for 2022-2023. I need a motion. I'll make a motion to propose the budget report for 2022-2023. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Okay. And now we'll do a roll call vote. Trustee Khan? Aye. Trustee Heredia? Aye. 
Trust, uh, sorry, Clerk Madrid. Aye. President Jaime, aye. Motion carried. And now we will uh, move on to um, resolution number 1106, Education Protection Account, EPA. Um, can I please get a motion? I'll make a motion for the resolution number 1106, Education Protection Account, EPA. Can we get a second? I'll second that. Okay, now we'll do roll call vote. Trustee Khan? Aye. Trustee Heredia? Aye. Clerk Madrid? Aye. President Jaime? Aye. Motion carried. And now... Um, we are moving on to resolution number four, no, resolution number 1107, designating certain general funds as committed fund balance. Can I please get a motion? I'll make a motion to uh, uh, accept the resolution number 11, uh, also to approve resolution number 1107, designing certain general funds as committed uh, fund balance. And can we get a second, please? I'll second that. Okay. And so now, roll call vote. Trustee Khan? Aye. Trustee Heredia? Aye. Clerk Madrid? Aye. President Jaime? Aye. Motion carried. And now moving on to the second reading of board policies. Can um, we get a motion? I'll make a motion for second reading of board policies. Okay. Can we get a Oh, sorry, you didn't make the motion. Oh, wait. <laughs> Can we get a second? Mr. Conner? Did you need a second? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm at, uh, I'll second that motion. Motion carried. Um, can we get roll call vote? Trustee Khan? Aye. Trustee Heredia? Aye. Clerk Madrid? Aye. And President Jaime? Aye. So I don't have to read the, 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 Okay, I'm going to read them. I'm going to read um, the, the first reading. Are you ready? And second, second reading. I, uh, I'm sorry. All right, let me take a deep breath. Policy 4030, non-discrimination in employment. Policy 4112.9, employee notifications. 4212.9, employee notifications. 4312. Dot nine employee notifications four one four one dot six concerted action slash work stoppage four two four one dot six cons concerted action dash work stoppage four one four one dot six concerted action slash work stoppage four two four one dot six concerted action slash work stoppage five one 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 Admission 5111, admission 5113, absences and excuses 5142, safety 5145.6, parental notification 6173, education of homeless children 6173, education for homeless children 6173, education for homeless children 6173, education for homeless children 9322, agenda slash meeting materials. Okay, so now moving on to um, asking if anybody has um, future items, Mr. Khan or um, Trustee Heredia or Clerk Madrid? I don't have any. Not at this time for me. Trustee Heredia? Um, no, not at this time. Thank you. Okay. Looking forward to have um, July off, so <laughs> thank you. And may you continue to enjoy the conference that. Um, some of us wanted to go to please come back with more knowledge and information about it i hope that you guys are enjoying your um time out there and really um learn and, and bring back some important feedback so enjoy and now the next regular board meeting will be held on thursday august 11 2022 closed session will be at six and open session will um start at 6 30. And so now I will be adjourning the meeting at 7.06. Wow. Thank you.
Thank you. And everybody, please enjoy the month of July. We will miss our audience for a month. We will see you in August.